Hey guys, Shelly Longenecker here. Hope you are doing well in your neck of the woods. As you are holed up in your homes, I hope that you are safe, sound, and sane. Um, that's not insane. That was and sane. Hope you are holding up. You know what? We are doing well here. I actually feel like we were uniquely prepared for this by fighting cancer last year because we um, really socially distanced for about nine months and uh, washed our hands continuously and never touched our faces. So we are like um, pros. We're expert level um, prepared for this. And I'm sorry that you're all having to face it along with us now. But I am here with you in my series continuing and covering um, sensible food solutions in senseless times. I don't have to tell you it's crazy out there. I don't have to tell you that this pandemic is affecting our grocery lives, right? And so um, I have personally been harnessing my inner Olaf, telling myself um, when things are crazy out there, control what you can. And so embracing our inner Olaf and in the world of groceries, we can't control the supply issues. We can't control the pricing issues. We can only control our own behaviors and our own habits, right? So um, what can we control? And that's what this entire series of Sensible Food Solutions is about. It's about controlling the elements that we can control in order to reduce the amount of time and money that we're spending on groceries right now. I know that prices are higher. I know that sales are gone, but there are ways that you can save right now. Today, I'm going to talk to you about how to make your fruit and vegetables last two weeks so that you can go to the store less. Now, I don't know if you know this about me, but I've been shopping every two weeks for years. And I made that switch years ago in order to reduce the amount of money I was spending on groceries and the amount of time I was spending on food preparation. I found by reducing the number of trips, I actually reduced my overall bill. Well, right now I'm teaching to go to the store every two weeks in order to reduce our exposure to COVID. Um, keep ourselves in home, keep ourselves even safer. But you might think if you've got to wait two weeks to go grocery shopping, you might think, hey, wait a second, you know, I'm not going to be able to eat fresh fruits and vegetables. And I'm here to say, nope. <laughs> and you might have caught me on Fox News last week talking about this, but I'm going to expand on it a little bit more right now because that was such a short segment. And then I've also written a blog that will be coming out probably tomorrow teaching about this. So fruits and vegetables that last two weeks. You do, if you wanna stretch your trip to every two weeks in order to save money or reduce your exposure, you don't have to compromise on fresh produce, but you do have to be more strategic. So what you wanna do is you wanna think through the fruits and vegetables that your family likes and think through the ones that will last a couple of weeks. There are many that will last even three weeks. And we posted a graph today, which you'll want to look for, of the fruits and vegetables that last longer stretches of time. Personally, I am now on an every three week shopping trip because I am still a little bit immune compromised. I'm really keeping myself very, very holed up and I'm just going to the store every three weeks or so. So produce can stretch. So let's talk about some of the produce that will last longer. Um, spaghetti squash. This is definitely one of my favorite long lasting. You can make spaghetti out of it. You can make pesto with noodles. It basically replaces noodles. You can use it as a ca in, in a casserole type of a thing. Um, it lasts a very long time. Super healthy, great option. Winter squashes, if you can access any of them. Also things like zucchini. Um, this last week we made zucchini boats um, and that we basically cut the zucchini in half lengthwise, scoop out the seeds and bake it. And then we put like a meat and veggie mixture in it and eat it like that. And we love that. Um, cabbage lasts a long time. So you can still have fresh salads in week two or three, just switching over to coleslaw types of salads. And then in the and the, there are more sweet potatoes, potatoes, carrots, of course, all of those and onions. And so on week two and week three, we will have sweet potato hash. Um, we will have potato hash. We'll have baked loaded sweet potatoes, baked loaded potatoes. And in our home, we have baked, we have loaded baked potatoes regularly. That's a great meal for us. Very frugal, very whole food, very produce rich, which we love. 
And so we don't top our um, potatoes with heavy fat types of things like sour cream, cheeses, butters, or even vegan substitutes because we don't do dairy in our home. We top them with vegetables and meats and sauces and seasonings. And so it can become a very produce rich type of a meal. Um, so those are great options that will last a couple of weeks. And then in the fruit end, of course, your apple, oranges, pears, but also things like kiwi, pineapple, mango, melons, those will all last into the second week. So what we do is in the first week, we use our quick to spoil ingredients. That's when we'll have our fresh romaine salads, eat any berries, um, uh, super ripe avocados. And then in the second week, we base our meals on those longer lasting produce. And I forgot to mention our two favorites, oh my gosh, beets and cauliflower. Our family loves beets and we love cauliflower, like everyone. Yum, we can't make enough of them. And so we buy those and we use those also in week two and into week three, especially the beets. Um, if your family thinks they don't like beets, here's a tip for you, which peel them and then roast them in the oven with just a little bit of olive oil and salt. See if they like that because you don't really know if you like beets until you've peeled them and had them roasted in <laughs> in the oven. Okay, so we've talked about what that produce will last two weeks that you wanna strategically plan your meals. And then the last thing to make your produce stretch and last, mason jars. You've got to use mason jars. And I don't think two weeks goes by in dinner for a dollar where I don't talk about how much I love mason jars. We use them for everything in our home. We use them to drink out of but we also use them to store our food in the pantry, refrigerator, and freezer. Um, I also use them for measuring cups. Um, I heat things in the microwave in them. Um, I do not use them in the oven or toaster oven, obviously, but I definitely use them in the microwave. We love mason jars, and let me tell you why. They will preserve your produce better than anything I have ever seen. So what we love to do is to prep our veggies at the beginning of the week and then throw them in mason jars, and they're good all week long. So this has been your sensible food solution and senseless times. Tip number six, how to stretch out your grocery trip two weeks and still consume a lot of fresh produce. All right, um, I will be on the news again this week, Wednesday the 8th, I think it is, at 7.40 a.m. Uh, Mountain Standard Time, talking about how to save money on groceries right now. So if you want to catch me on the news, be, be on the look for that. Fox 10 News.